Oh my god. Oh, I kind of forgot how weird it was being on camera and seeing myself on it. <laughs> Damn, it's been a minute since I've done this. And by a minute, I mean how long has it been? <laughs> Oops. All right, look, story's out. I haven't uploaded in a long time. Clearly, I saw someone in the comments saying that I fell off the earth. I guess you could say that. But uh, no, I've been chilling here doing my thing. But uh, I just haven't recorded anything. Because look, the way that I made my beats, complete silent. That's a little too boring. The way I would like to do it is explain what I'm doing in the process. But I just kind of get too into it and end up not talking throughout the whole thing. I feel like that's a little bit, uh, you know? But we're going to try something new. And with that, needs a little bit of backstory. So, I've been doofing around on TikTok, and I upload, like, you know, the usual stuff that I do on my Instagram, just beat videos and random other stuff that I probably wouldn't put on the Instagram, but, you know, just beat cuts, you know, stuff like that. A couple weeks ago, one of my friends sent me a video of the beatboxer, and if I'm doing this correctly, this might be a pretty good transition, so... I see a red door and I want to paint it black. No colors anymore, I want them to turn black I see the girls walk by dressed in the summer clothes I need to turn my head until my darkness goes Now basically it's just to do beatboxing in the tournament and what it is, is basically his cover of um, Painted Black by the Rolling Stones. And immediately after showing me that TikTok, my friend sent me this. Did that look cool? I hope it looked cool. I wanted to do what other people do. <laughs> so, cut to like maybe two weeks later, that I finally had a day to sit down and try something. And here we are. All right, second attempt at a transition. Here we go. Hey, all right. Did that work? So now that we're here at the desk, let's take a look at the screen and... Cool. So the usual way I would do the previous videos is that I kind of make it on the spot. I just get too focused into it and now you just got a whole bunch of nothings. Instead of me trying to go explain it on the spot, I'll just explain it post-process. So let's try this out. Well, well, right off the bat, I wanted to look for the isolated vocals for Painted Black, right? But the way the beatboxers done it is not the same melody as the original song. And I tried to isolate the beatboxer's vocals, but it's just too much effort for me. So, I had to do it myself. I ended up just recording it real quick into Edison, and then pitched it in new pitch because I ain't got vocals like that. And then I used M-Audio's auto pitch to not auto-tune it, but more I use it more often for format shift. So, now we have this. I see your red door and I want it painted black. No colors anymore. To add a little bit more grittiness to it, I sidechained the distortion signal to it. I made a copy of it and then shifted it down one octave just to give it a little bit more bass. And then slapped that all together and then we have this. I see your red door and I want it painted black. No colors anymore. I want them to turn black. Now, for this section here actually, so I wanted to use my vocals as much as possible because since it's a beatboxing TikTok, I wanted to use some Im implement some methods of beatbox or at least use my voice a lot for certain instruments. So for example, OVOC. I cut real quick to the microphone that I actually use to do the vocals for the track. And I'm just gonna open up OVOX real quick so y'all can hear the immediate change that happened. Hello? Hello, hello. See? Alright. Cool. So the way Obox works is basically just the Vocodex plugin in FL Studio. You guys have heard the voice change already. It sounds like this, and if I wanted to, I can change the tune all the way down here, right? Now, with that in mind, you could do some pretty cool bass lines if you just go wow, 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 wow. Uh, after messing around with some settings, we get something like this. And if we add some distortion to it, you'll get the idea, right? So I just basically recorded myself doing that for, I'm going to say, I'm one or two minutes. And then I cut out the parts that I like, slap the filter on it, and now we got this. 
this if this is another this is basically just another base and because I wanted to get it as close as to the beatboxer did it as possible you know how during it like after that go the boom, boom, boom part thing implemented that with the kick over here bind that all together for the intro part and we got this cool so now we know what's next it's gonna be that little drop segment that he did the way i heard it it was like a glitch trap type of situation so now just add some glitch trap elements to it for example the snare some effects and then do the little lead that the guy was doing as well and then we have our little drop section <laughs> Now since there's really not enough going on in the drop section, it's literally just this pluck right here. I try to give it as much space as possible and we do that by adding a massive reverb to it in order for it to not interfere with everything else that's going on. It's side-chained to the pluck using peak controller. I, I automated the wet signal just so it could lower itself every time the note plays, but it'll come right back as soon as it's over. And if I ever wanted to cut off the reverb entirely, I have this knob automated just so it could silence itself anytime, which is what you see over here. Just one more time. And now that that glitch trap section is down, there's a second drop that he actually did where to me it sounded a lot more dubstep like. So to make it easier on myself, I just grab samples from the virtual right sample pack. Just add a, the, the drum, a little bit of sub to help out the, the sounds coming in. And then we get this. <laughs> And that's literally all there was to that section. That's basically the whole TikTok. But yeah, that's basically it, really. There's not much to talk about at that point. I'm done. That's it. <laughs> Um, I honestly have no idea what to say at the ends. Usually I'm just uh, get it done and get it out of here type of guy, but uh, I feel like I should say something. So uh, look, I'm not gonna promise anything. I'm not gonna say that I'm back. I'm not gonna say that there's gonna be consistency on this channel because clearly there hasn't been for a long time. Jumping back into it out of the blue, you know, what can you expect, right? If you guys kind of like this idea of me going through the process afterwards instead of me doing it live and just not talking about it, then uh, let me know. Uh, but if not, I actually streamed the whole beat making process on Twitch. I'm trying to be, I am actually trying to be consistent on there. Uh, Twitch.tv slash JR underscore M-A-N-D zero. I'm going to try, I'm going to try, I'm going to try, I'm going to try and stream every Wednesday at 12 or 1 o'clock. And we'll see how long that goes. And every Saturday 
same time or maybe earlier, I haven't decided yet, but we're gonna stick with 12 or one o'clock and then onwards. This is basically just me holding myself accountable now. <laughs> so uh, if you guys wanna check that out, there's gonna be more than just beat production and music production, probably some video games with uh, my friends and all that other stuff. So if you're into that, go ahead, take a look. This is follow, maybe even subscribe. Uh, but yeah, once again, everybody, thank you for those who stuck around. If there are if there are any people that stuck around, you can always follow me on Instagram, TikTok, basically the same handles, J Armando, J R underscore M A N D zero or J R underscore M A N D O. Uh, there's a lot more consistency going on over there on my other socials than it has been here on YouTube. But I'm trying to get back in the game. Why not, right? <laughs> so I'll see y'all when I see y'all. <laughs>